Got a couple of these squash, went to the market, and I'm going to show you how I cut this up first because it's kind of the biggest job of this thing, and sad to say, I got to wear these gay yellow gloves to do it because the wax that comes off of this butternut squash will stick on your hands for days. It's this part, the base part, that has the seeds. Get a spoon to decor that. Don't leave any seeds in this because they do not puree well in the final soup. And then we're just going to cut these up. Make uh, some consistent chunks. Yeah. This is going to be roasted butternut squash soup. Let's get a pan ready and actually put foil on the bottom. Uh, rub a little bit of oil. Throw everything on here. I guess you can use butter in this. The only thing that I like to add to squash is uh, an onion and a full clove of garlic. And here's what I'm going to do. Sprinkle with a little bit of nutmeg. And I have cinnamon here as well. Now, let's just do some of this brown sugar. Sprinkle over. What I'm going to do is take a piece of foil and just uh, lay it down on top. I'm going to go have a nap and we'll come back and attend to this later. Alright, let's get this going. Okay, let's grab a pot and be simple from here on in. Right. I'm pouring in water in like a three quarters of a liter. Vegetarian stock goes good with squash soup. Actually. Okay, so that put together with the lid on. And then we're actually just going to puree it. One of these babies. If you don't have one of these, uh, you can always use even uh, a whisk or a potato masher. I would probably be doing that, except for the fact that I actually took this from my old garage for my ex-wife. She doesn't even know it's gone yet. She doesn't cook anyway. sugar also like syrup so just drizzle a few lines on it almost like the top of a cappuccino that soup is pretty hearty guys that's it awesome